You guys all got the uh, the Sprint Ray 95. The 95 is um, it's a great printer. It's uh, it's got a big print bed to print a lot of objects, but the resolution is now not the best um, printer that Sprint Ray has. And I'll tell you that um, that resolution becomes an, an a factor not in surgical guides or temporaries or dentures. Um, it comes a factor in screw channels because these little tiny screw channels are so intricate because we're printing a tiny little cylinder inside of there that that Rosen screw needs to fit in and engage in. Um, that becomes really critical to, um, to have high, high resolution and accuracy. And these temperatures you're going to see were all printed with the 95 because I wanted to print a bunch of them. We printed 10 of them at one time on one print. And so you'll see what it looks like on the night with the 95, and it's okay. But when you start to look at like the the um, the multi-unit um, uh, margin and the screw channel, you'll you'll see like okay, maybe it could have been a little bit better. And that's where the 55 comes in. So the 55 is this printer right up here. So you're you guys are using the 95. The the 55 is um, a really really cool printer because it's super accurate, but the print bed is like half the size. So if you guys see how small this is, you just can't fit a lot of things at one time. Um, it's a great printer for resolution, but if you're printing volume and you're printing a lot of things at one time, like if you did aligners, which none of us are doing, nor do I think should be done, you, you need more volume, right? But the 55 is awesome because you get that high resolution. So for like Crown and Bridge and the screw channels inside of hybrids, the 55 does have an advantage. So it's not that it can't be done. You'll see it. This is the 95, but it can be done better with the 55. And I typically will orientate these just like this <clears throat> with the teeth down. And so when you print these, then you don't have any uh, material directly on your uh, margin. But you have it on the teeth. So you're going to have to cut these off and then kind of polish and adjust the, adjust the little, um, uh, uh, what do you call these? Supports. Supports, thank you. Okay. Um, we printed these the other way around, so when you guys look at them, you'll see that, you know, we had 10 of these, so you'll see the little supports weren't polished. We printed it like this because nobody's putting this in the mouth. Um, so you'll notice the little bit of attachments on the bottom, but not bad. This is the... This is the new material here called on X. So you can see this Sprint Ray came out with this material and announced it yesterday, and then Monday it's in the store. So I was telling them if they want this and you want to do this stuff, I'd be prepared on Monday because I'm going to guess it's going to sell out, or at least in the bleach shade. Because I would suggest getting the bleach and then just staining it back as needed. Are they releasing this? Again, for provisionals, or are they releasing this as a final? Uh, they don't. They don't specify, uh -huh. right? They would say like they would say long-term temporaries is what they would say. So, you know. In the event they had yesterday, I was peeping the the presentation that said temporary sold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think they would like tell everyone yeah. to say, "Hey, deliver for final." But, I mean. I think I've, list, I've seen a lot of guys that are playing with this stuff, and they think that it's going to last a really long time in the mouth. Patient factors, all that stuff. But you have the ability to go deliver it and say, hey, you know, you, you got to come up with the rest of the money for your thimble bar. You know, come back and get the thimble bar. And if they break it, say, hey, it's a thousand bucks and I'll print you a new one or whatever you want to do. And then just keep, you know, you could print them a new one every year. And it's not like you're really doing too much damage. Yeah, better than acrylic. Uh, so Monday, um, if you guys want it, be on the lookout. Sprint Ray Onyx Bleach. Um, the 55 is the the printer to, to go with if if you're really going to be doing these things. Um, and then the <clears throat> when you print them, you want to print them. You want to wash them. Um, make sure you take some compressed air. And before you cure them, blow the screw channels out really good. 
because the little liquid resin will be in the screw channels. And if you throw it in the cure box, um, you're going you're gonna to have material get locked in there. So compressed air, blow it really, really good in there. And then, um, then you can take it and do the final cure. The, the other thing is I know a lot of you guys are using like, um, you know, lower cost curing units, um, which is great for surgical guides and, and model resin. I think if you're going to start doing long-term material, I think you're going to need ultimate cure strength. I haven't done any like physical tests, but we use the Pro Cure by Sprint Ray. It's over there on the side, and we'll use that to, to cure everything. But this material is meant to be cured at a certain profile and temperature and time. And if you want to maximize the strength, I would suggest maximizing the curing because this is actually functioning in their mouth for a long period of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the. So just something to think about too is that I have one like that where just if you print a, a, a if you print like a black triad from print, like I printed and tried it on my model. So I we screwed it down on the model and then cured it because it was just ever so slight, and we're talking barely a little bit of flex maybe in it. Mm -hmm. But I think I got away with it and then cured it, and I noticed it was barely different once it was done. Like yeah. you might be able to. You know, idealize the shape of the thing before it's cured. If you yeah. Your master model. So what he's I'm suggesting sure, is, but... you have your master cast. He's suggesting printing it, cleaning it, screwing it on the model, then curing it with on the model. So. So no, Sprint Ray is just a printer. So you just. Sprint Ray is just an STL printer um, company. So the Rosen screw library you would give to your lab to use with ExoCAD. So what if, I, if you want to print your own long-term temporary? Well, are you talking about designing your own or printing your own? Because so designing, yeah, so designing you would need to purchase ExoCAD in order to do that. Um, and um, which, hey, if that's uh, if that's something anybody wants to do, I mean, it's awesome. Like super nice software. It's what the labs you use in. Can design on Blue Sky. Yeah, yeah, good question. Yeah, so Blue Sky is great. It's free, low cost, um, but limitations. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with Blue Sky, but ExoCAD, you have to go with to design that. Um, and you either pay your lab um, to do it if you don't want to do it because ExoCAD, it's going to be. It's like five to ten grand for everything. Heavy, heavy learning curve. Um, you know, big investment. Whereas, like, you know, you could pay your your lab, you know, under probably under two hundred bucks to do a, a design for you too.